Hey guys, just wanted to pop in again really quick. Um, I wanted to bring to your attention, we've got several really interesting blog posts on artifactor.com and I just want to quickly run through those and, and uh, you know, make sure that you're aware of them and, and, um, and have you check those out if, uh, if, if you're interested. Again, we've got several different posts. Um, one of them is related to um, 3D printing and bicycling. Um, there's a handful of bicycling manufacturers now that are actually leveraging 3D printing tech in their product design, prototyping, and manufacturing processes. Um, these are road bike companies and mountain bike companies. Um, and so they're doing some really interesting things. So that blog post uh, features a story about that. Um, I also have a blog post on Rhino 3D. Uh, Rhino is a surface modeling CAD design uh, program or tool, and it's what I've been using uh, to design all the um, all the products that feature on Artifacture.com. Uh, amazing tool, uh, amazingly powerful. Um, essentially, whatever you could imagine, um, you could design it in, in Rhino. So again, this blog post features um, just kind of like an intro or primer to the basic foundations of Rhino. Um, you know, everything from a point to a line and then how from those pieces you build a surface and then you link or group surfaces and that creates the solid. So anyway, uh, very basic, but if you're looking to get into 3D and you want to learn a tool that um, you could definitely grow with and again, model some really amazing things, I highly recommend Rhino 3D. I'm not an expert, but I think I know enough to, to recognize how, how amazing it is. Um, Let's see, we also have a two-part blog post um, just giving like a basic intro to 3D printing and some of the materials that that one would find in 3D printing. So everything, you know, detailing the, you know, the main um, types, the main technologies, right? Or whether it's, you know, fused deposition modeling, FDM, or um, uh, laser sintering, or stereolithography, or binder jetting. Um, I break down, I think there's four or five basic uh, processes and then call out some materials that are used. Really uh, helpful and valuable post if you're just getting into the space and you kind of want kind of like a good overview. I know there's a ton of other articles and stuff out there, but, but um, um, it's just another resource uh, for you to take advantage of. Let's see, um, I also have a blog post on um, creativity and inspiration. And I detail some of the things that I do to kind of help me be creative or get creative um, or be inspired. And so we as designers, um, you know, we're working on design problems and we're trying to really think differently and laterally about what we're working on. And sometimes uh, you need a little bit of help as far as trying to get those creative juices flowing and, and, or just being inspired to come up with something brand new and fresh and unique. So I kind of detail um, certain things that I do to kind of help with that, with that process and, and kind of helps my, um, you know, my thinking get out of a rut or, or see things in a different way. Uh, so that's a really interesting blog post. So would highly recommend that um, to, to check that out. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to mention was um, I have a post on uh, the design process that I went through designing the laptop stand. Again, the laptop stand is the newest product that we just added to the website. And here I just give a quick rundown of, you know, what was the in initial inspiration, how I initiated the process, what I went through, some of the sketching, some of the thinking, etc., and then how the, the thinking evolved, how the form evolved um, to the final piece. Um, so that is, um, that's also a really, I would recommend that just to kind of give a, a sneak peek into the, the design process behind the product. Um, I will post links to all these, uh, to the posts in the description below. Definitely invite you to check those out and by all means, definitely comment. Let me know what you think. We'll love to hear uh, back from you guys. Um, that's it. Thank you.